How does the acorn become the giant oak tree? Apparently, Aristotle used to hold up an acorn in front of his class and say, what do I have here? And what he was asking them, he wanted them to say, you have an oak tree. He didn't have an oak tree, he had an acorn. Now you could take an acorn to the most erudite scientist in the world, have them dissect it, and they're not going to find an oak tree in it. There's no oak tree in the acorn. Jammed right up against that acorn is energy. It's called earth. There's a pattern plan in the acorn that controls the vibration of the acorn. And because of the vibration, because of the frequency it's operating on, it has no ability to change the frequency. It's gonna stay in that vibration. It can only attract the energy in the earth that's in harmony with the acorn. Now there would be energy jammed right up against that acorn that's in harmony with a carrot seed, but not an oak tree. So that energy will stay jammed right up against the acorn, but never become one with the acorn. Meanwhile, there's um, energy quite a ways away from the acorn that's in harmony with the acorn. If you could see with the naked eye what's happening, like an obedient soldier, that particle of energy will march right to the acorn. And what happens when it gets there? What happens if I put two drops of water together? I got one drop of water, haven't I? And I got a bigger drop of water than I had before I joined the two together. Try and separate that one drop into the same two little mass of molecules. You're never gonna do it. Well, when this particle of energy, which can be a long ways away from the acorn, marches towards the acorn, and it will march like an obedient soldier right to the acorn. And when it becomes one with the acorn, what's the acorn do? It does the only thing it can do, it expands. When you add energy to energy, you get more energy. And the acorn expands and it sends shoots out the bottom, then sends shoots out the top, then it starts to attract from the atmosphere as well as from the earth. See, a pattern plan is in the seed. It controls the vibration of the seed. The acorn's in the earth. The oak tree's in the universe. The law of attraction brought them together. What is the law? We said the law is God's modus operandi. It's how everything happens. You know the good that you want? It's already here. You gotta get in harmony with it. If you don't get in harmony with it, you're never gonna attract it. You will not attract it. That's how the acorn grows. That's how all other seeds grow, and that's how you grow. You all know the difference? The acorn has no ability to change the pattern plan. It has no ability to alter the vibratory rate that the acorn's in. You have the ability to alter your vibration at will. I have the ability to alter my vibration at will. When we alter the vibration, we start to express the good we've been desiring, and we start to attract the energy that's in harmony with it. Have no fear. Fear not. Seek your verse this kingdom in its righteousness, and all these things will be given to us. I hope you enjoyed this video. We put a lot of good information up here, and it causes everything in your life to get better. If you'd like us to notify you every time we put a new video up, hit subscribe and then turn on notification. Check out all our videos and we will notify you when we put a new one up.